Hello, windy tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V for the Game Boy Advance with me, Blue Ankylo. Today, we're gonna head to the Wind Shrine. We uh, spent the last episode exploring the first town and gearing up a little bit. Everyone's level four, and we've got uh, shields equipped for everybody now as well because I'm so generous. I've also bought a couple potions and such, so we'll be ready to go for a proper dungeon. And finally, we're all level four. Uh, you may notice that um, Ferris has lot, not at maximum HP because when you rest in town at the inn, she doesn't join you, so she, you can't heal her up like that. But don't worry, we'll have a way to heal her other than a potion soon enough. So if you want to know where to go, uh, you could explore around this a bit. Um, that was where our cave was, we saw that spot. Somewhere down here. Actually, we can't see him, but right by that cave is where we um, dropped off our chocobo and abandoned him for all times. Somewhere, if we go further down here, is where that meteor was. You can just barely see it there. I don't know if you can see it from the ocean, but... Oh yeah, there you go. That's Lena's castle. The castle Tycoon. You could land over here in the desert and fight some monsters. I don't recommend it. They're pretty tough. Uh, this is the canal that we heard mention of. We cannot go through this because it's locked. So forget that. Similarly, if you land on the grass over here, you'll fight very, very strong monsters from later on in the game, and they'll probably kill you. Although, you can level up if you're careful, but yeah, we're not going to do that. So let's just head up here, which is where you're supposed to go, which is the Wind Shrine. Welcome to the Wind Shrine! There's some people here, apparently. Princess Lena! What happened? What's the matter? Well, the wind suddenly stopped and now there are monsters. Hmm, that's not good. What about father? Well, you see, he went to the top floor and we haven't heard from him. We haven't seen any search parties, so he's probably just dead and dying on the ground and we've just been sitting here by the healing pot, getting happy. The crystal's up on the top floor, right? Won't hurt to go up and take a look. I'm sure a bunch of kids can do what your father couldn't. Let's go. We're not exactly kids, but Lennis sure seems like it. So you guys are just sitting here. There's a, there's a, there's a machine. Yeah, we heard about that last time. Hey, some more potions. And free healing. I wasted 10 GP at the inn in town to heal when I could have done it here for free. Anyway, welcome to the first, maybe, real dungeon. I mean, the, the cave was a dungeon, but it was pretty, pretty small. This is more of a proper maze. With slightly more difficult weapon enemies. We have black goblins as opposed to normal goblins. Oh, one thing I was going to mention, I forgot to say this earlier. Uh, unlike Final Fantasy III, which you could by default equip two weapons, like one for each hand, in this game you cannot do that without a special skill that maybe ninjas know. So uh, for now, we're just going to have to use single weapons and a shield. Or eventually, two hand a single weapon. Hey, you guys should re you recognize this. It's a healing circle. Uh, you can use tents. It doesn't automatically heal you, unlike newer Final Fantasy games. You have to use a tent yourself. But it does let you save it, which is also handy. Alright, I forget which way has treasure. I feel like it's probably left. Hey, Lena got tail. There's really no need to do level grinding at this point, I don't think. Although, yeah, I remember that guy being a bit tough. Spoiler alert, we're gonna have to fight that thing. I should have gone right, probably, because uh, this looks like the way to advance. And probably the right side at that split had some treasure, so we'll have to backtrack a little. It's been a fairly long time. Yeah, we would have just got that. Alright, well, we'll pick that up before we fight the giant bird monster. Probably wouldn't hurt to get a level up before then, anyway. This is suspicious. Seriously, nothing? Just, just nothing. No balls. That's, that's unusual. Usually they'd put something in one of those, right? Like a treasure chest. Another broadsword. I think that's the same thing, right? Yeah. So I could have saved a little bit of money and not brought a broadsword. Not purchased one. But, um... 
you know, whatever. So we got all kinds of new enemies here. It's possible the Manny Wizard can cast magic. Or just try to hit you with a stick. Hey look, our 10% evasion, it did something. Score for buying shields, totally worked. But yeah, I mean, the beginning of the game is always going to be pretty easy. Nothing to worry about. It'll start to scale up pretty quick, though. This is not a terribly easy game once things get rolling. If you pick the wrong, the wrong jobs or level up sort of the wrong way, it can be pretty hard. If you know the correct... Um, the correct abilities and stuff to go for, it'll make it a lot easier. In fact, you can get quite overpowered if you level up the right jobs to the right levels, but, you know, you gotta know what you're doing. Now the leather cap, again, I could've saved a little bit of money not buying those. I'll still be able to sell them, though. It looks like Ferris is doing considerably more damage, let's see, what's her stats look like? Well, she's tied for second for strength. Lena, as you may be able to tell, is not going to be our fighter. She's got more magic. Galuf is probably going to be a fighter. I am probably going to be a fighter, and Ferris is actually very, very well balanced, so she can do whatever as we progress our characters. You know, anyone can do anything, but there is some difference in base stats. I think traditionally Lena is my white mage, Ferris is my black mage, Galuf is my monk, and Bartz is my knight early on. We'll see if I stick to that stereotype. I probably will. I like having balance parties. The incoming giant bird! It's a wing raptor! Now, he actually does a lot of damage. If you can't kill him in a couple rounds, you will die. <laughs> um... This is a surprisingly difficult first boss fight. Because, like, we basically need to kill him on this round or else Ferris is dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty sure we could do enough damage to kill him in two rounds. But yeah, if you try to get caught up healing, you'll spend all four turns using potions and he'll just hit you with the whirlwind twice in a row. <laughs> and if people start dying, you're gonna have an even harder time, so. There you go, that's the first boss. Just gotta rush him down, basically. I mean, I have plenty of potions. I could have healed up before we started, but... We have no AoE heals, so... I figure level 5 is probably the right level, and making sure everyone has a broadsword. If you still had Galuf punching with, like, 6 damage, you'd have a hard time. But we didn't have to worry about that. So, the Wind Crystal! Which doesn't appear to be whole. The crystal? It's shattered! Zounds! What the? So, there's another castle that has a crystal there. That's the fire crystal, by the way. Hey, the fire crystal! Courage, the essence of flame! For some reason, Ferris is the fire character. That should be the water one. Pew pew! Who gets to be watery? I would have thought Ferris would have been the watery one, but... Turns out that's Lena. Fire for the mage. Devotion, water for the... For the cleric. White mage, but, you know. That should be Earth. You can guess who gets that. It's Galuf! The s hope! The essence of Earth. The rock steady one. And finally, wind. Remember I said I kind of uh, had this feeling for wind? Passion. Passion, courage, hope, and devotion. What's happening? Mm, feels warm. Are these the crystal's essences? Sure, yeah, whatever. He's dead, that's a ghost. 
Listen and listen well. You four are the chosen ones, the warriors of light, bearer of the four crystal essences. I promise we'll never do this again in another Final Fantasy. Father, what do you mean? The wind crystal has sh already shattered. The other three crystals are in danger as well. You four must protect them. An evil presence is awakening, one that wishes to return everything to darkness. And it's not chaos this time! Hi, Father. Go forth and save the crystals. Well, he's dead. You were too slow. Shouldn't have gone to that town. Maybe we could have saved him if he came here right away. So what are these? Well... Just random pieces of crystal, I guess. Probably garbage. Just throw them away. Crystal fragments and stored within the power of warriors of legend. The knight. The monk. The blue mage. The thief. And the black and white mages. You've got the first six jobs! Well, congratulations. Now, there are plenty more, don't worry guys, those are just your sort of stereotypical starter jobs. They aren't bad though, always good to have white and black magic, no doubt. There should be a warp panel, wait, what? You just happen to have warp technology? So there's a way to warp outside of temples, shrines and stuff, but you never built a warp panel from the castle to get here immediately? You guys are silly. Silly! Just, if you've got warp technology, just... Why do you even have ships? Why do you have chocobos? Just teleport around. Way cooler. So that's uh, essentially the prologue done. We've got our crew. Would you like an explanation? No. Seriously, it's not that difficult. Goodbye, Choco. We ditched you. You were gone. Go back to your cave. So like, okay, it's really, really complicated, guys. You click on like, job, and you click on like, the one you wanna be. I wanna be a knight. I'm a knight now. It's really hard. We'll have abilities later on as we level up our jobs that we can equip. Right now, there's nothing, so we can't equip anything. The weapons you can equip, it says, can equip daggers, swords, and other kinds of swords, as well as shields. There you go. And now we have level zero in knightliness. Once we, if you look back at the job screen, it says level zero, zero out of 10. So that will take 10 job points and we'll level up as a knight. You can switch between them for free, unlike Final Fantasy III, which had some cost associated with switching jobs. Uh, in this one, you don't have to worry about that. It's just every time you pick one, you, for yourself, it's not like for the group, everyone has to level up their own knight abilities if they want to do that. So for now, we're gonna go with the stereotypical class of knight, monk, white mage, black mage. The monk can't use weapons, he can't equip weapons at all, but he will do a lot more damage than he used to. I know, um, it still says attack three, but it's better than that, don't worry. Lena, uh, like I said, tends to be my my primary white mage. Now, keep in mind, it's actually quite easy to have white and black magic on the same character, because you could have this ability to equip the off skills. Now, she can't use normal swords, so we'll have to give her a staff. And then Ferris, I will give her black magic for now. The early levels go so quickly for jobs, it doesn't really matter. We'll start rounding out our characters later on, and I'll probably have to do a fair bit of grinding off camera, but we'll talk about that at a later date. So I could... I'm the only one that even uses a shield, it's hilarious. Um... I was thinking, like, I could move the, the shoes over to Ferris, but they don't matter. It doesn't matter. What we'll do is we'll put these two in the back row now. And that way they will be a little bit more protected. You can see the HPs are different now, like, uh, for... Barts and Galuf, we have considerably more HP, and the MP has gone up for the mages. 
If you look at their stats now, magic has been probably doubled for Ferris, and probably similarly around doubled for Lena. They should have their strength reduced a little bit, and their agility is probably the same. Uh, similarly for Galuff, he's got like twice as much stamina and strength, but no magic. And Bartz has got probably twice as much strength and stamina and half magic. So knights can still cast magic, but they're not they're not really good at it. So you could make a paladin sort of knight, give him a white magic ability, and he can do some stuff. But uh, that's not his his power. That's not his best ability. Now, right now, our mages don't have any spells. So let's go correct that. If I remember correctly, at least, we only have to buy one spell, each spell once. It's not like the earlier games you have to buy them for each character. See you later, Ferris. She still doesn't want to hang out with us. I don't think the people are going to say anything new. Uh, we have done a little bit of plot, but I expect they're all going to say the same thing. Uh, there will be, every now and then, some of the characters, the NPCs will, their dialogue will update. But like a lot of the earlier Final Fantasy games, it happens rarely, and a lot of the times they'll say the same stuff from the beginning of the game until the very end of the game. Even if the world's been destroyed, they'll still say the same stuff. So, we definitely want some magic. We want cure for sure. We might as well have all the white magic, it's pretty cheap. And I need more magic, but we're gonna start with thunder, because we might be fighting some water monsters first, and then I'll pick up the rest as I can afford them. Now that we've got some magic, we can check it out. So it just keeps track of it for everyone. And, um... You can see how much they cost. Libra's cheap. Poison's pretty cheap. Cure is four. Uh, she can't cast it, but there's Thunder. And you can cast these white ones from the menu. So we'll have summons eventually. We Actually, because we learned Thunder, technically, if we had a Spellblade, we could enchant a weapon with Lightning. Uh, but we don't have that class yet. Blue magic, well, I could make someone a blue mage, and we could actually learn Goblin Punch already, but eh. Anyway, remember, uh, we need to stop all of the, uh... We need to stop the crystals from being destroyed, and the canal to the east is closed, so we need to talk to somebody about getting that unlocked. Oh, Princess Lena! Sock, it's good to see you. Yes, it's been a long time. Sock, I have a favor to ask. We must go to Waltz, so we need to pass through the Torna Canal. Oh dear. Ever since the Wind Crystal was destroyed, the beasts in the canal have multiplied like rabbits. It is much too dangerous to enter. Moreover, I... I seem to have lost the key to the canal somewhere. I'm sorry, I cannot help you with the key. Still, since you've come all this way, won't you at least stay the night? Magnificent! Wonderful! Follow me! I think he has one bed in the whole house. <laughs> so we're staying the night. Oh no, he had four houses. Four beds in one houses. With all that crazy noise, someone turn their cell phone off. I'm enjoying the movie. I'm just going for a walk. The crystals. Now that I think of it, they're the reason Dad... Uh, tried to forget my childhood. My favorite song from this game. The crystals must be protected at any cost. Stella? If anything should happen to me, never tell Bards about the crystals. The crystals. Make sure you don't tell Bartz, who is sleeping behind me, probably, about the crystals. They aren't his burden to bear. Oh, darling, please don't say things like that. I'm sure 
our sleeping child will never hear about the crystals from me or you. It's definitely a far away time. Back to his home sweet home. Hey, hey, old man, get away from her. Father, I'll protect the crystals, I promise. Mm hmm, good, good, yes, yes. Fine young lady she is. Gah! What's the matter, Parts? What was I doing in the bedroom? Ah, uh, just, uh, making sure everyone had a, a, a comfortable pillow and uh, some fresh sheets. Nothing. I was just reminded of my folks. They died a while back, though. Here. Take it. Huh? T take what? The key to the canal. With it, you can open the gate and travel to Walsh. I'm good now. I'll be good for a couple more days. Bring Lena back later, though. I was worried about Lena, so I hid the key, but... Please, take care of her. Maybe he means well after all, guys. Maybe. But I don't trust him. With that music going on in the background in his house? <laughs> Alright. Well. I always wake up first, apparently. Did anyone uh, notice the creepy old man breaking into our bedroom last night? No? No? Alright, alright. Alright, and with that, we are done with this town, probably forever. Except for when I come back to buy magic, but... No. No, I won't! I'm never coming back. Alright, Ferris. What's up? Wait up! Sorry, lads. I'm leaving you leggards behind. Captain, but why? You know we'd follow you to the ends of the earth. That may literally be where I'm going, actually. I know, and I thank ye for it. But not this time. This smells of a long journey. While I'm gone, I need you louts to guard the hideout. We can't just let any radar booty... But Captain... The booty shall be plundered. Wind at your back, Captain. Godspeed. Goodbye, crew. You'll be missed. And with that, we begin our journey again. So, um... It looks like everyone got a rest and full HP except Ferris again. Now, just to show you an easy battle here. Something, there we go. Now that we've got actual jobs and crystals and whatnot. Um, oh, I forgot to buy a, uh, a staff for Lena. I have to go do that still. Unfortunately, our, um, our mages will do considerably worse for physical. But, there you go. 80 damage from Galuff and... Not quite that much for me, but... One ABP. Active battle point. Ability... B Ability bomb point? I don't know. Anyway, uh, with that, we now have 1 out of 10 for... Well, 1 out of 15. One point towards our first level up. Let's just quickly buy uh, at least some sort of weapon for a white mage. The broad... Oh, we don't have enough money. Not even close. Um, we have enough money. We'll probably never have an opportunity... Well, you could turn everyone into knights. In fact, early on, turning everyone into monks would make you a lot of damage. But um, I'll try to keep the parties balanced most of the time. I'll try not to take advantage of really cheap, sort of exploity groups. I'll try to keep it sort of balanced. 
So the rod does give Ferris more magic power, which would mean she could do uh, a little bit more damage with her spells, but um, also, I wonder if I can sell enough stuff. Yeah, I just want to make sure that was an extra one we found. Ethers are nice, but I should have just sold the ether. Um, we don't need them right now anyway. Uh, I just want to buy the magic while we're here so I don't have to come back ever again. And I'll probably just forget. So we'll make sure we get fire and blizzard. Now we've got all of our level 1 magic. Uh, the level 1 white magic, the level 1 black magic, and it connects to the spell blade as well. So that's dealt with. Um, at this point, normally I would go and do a little bit of level grinding. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to try that for the let's play or not. Lena, what's wrong? Well, her father is dead. <laughs> you know, maybe someone should be a little bit more consoling. The wind crystal has shattered. Right now, the only difference is that the wind has slowed. But soon it will stop blowing completely. And in a few years, the air grows stagnant. And the birds won't have any place to fly. And we'll all suffocate. Father said that we had to protect the three remaining crystals. Yes, the earth, the crystals of fire, water, and earth, and heart. If those were lost too, or, <laughs> if those were lost too, then at first nothing would happen. But it wouldn't be very long before the earth began to decay and vampires showed up, and then the seas dirtied and the kraken would show up. Then the fires would lose their heat, and then the carry would show up and burn everyone. And then the world would become dark and cold. After a while, it would become unlivable, because that's what I was told. We've got to protect those crystals. So for some reason on this planet, the crystals are literally all that keeps it from turning into a dead shell of a planet. I don't know why, just it's the way it works. Huh, did that trigger any of your memories? Oh, that's me again. Huh, did that trigger any of your memories? Crazy old man. Nope, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna help. Well said, old man. I'm coming along too. Plus, we still have to find Lena's father, who is definitely not dead. King Tycoon, but he disappeared into thin air. He still lives! I feel it in my bones! Never for a moment believe otherwise. Hmm. I don't know about that. He seemed pretty dead to me. Barts, will you come with us? Before, I was just coming along for the ride. But seeing everyone here... The crystals. Yeah. We were given power to protect the world. The power of the wind crystal. That's it. I'm in. We've got some crystals to save. Sure enough, let's be off. Alright, luckily we don't actually need a pirate crew to, to, to move the ship around. But, um, we can just sail it with just the four of us, which is convenient. Uh, before we totally end the episode, which I will be doing shortly, I want to see... I guess there's no way to go back into the port where we took off from. I think you can get back in there. Remember there's some doors that were guarded by pirates? I'm pretty sure there is a way later on to go back and check that for loot. Uh, maybe I could re-backtrack re through the... Yeah, okay, I'll tell you what. Next episode... I'll meet you guys... Ooh, magical staff. Um on the other side of the, uh, the cave. It won't take me very long to get there. I'll just meet you guys there. And we can, uh, double check if there's anything to see in the pirate stronghold before we head to the canal, because... Well, there might be something dangerous in the canal, and I've gotta, gotta prep for that a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have enjoyed, and have a great day!